Hi guys, Jen here. I'm doing my next soap cake. This one is scented in monkey farts. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it. Cause you know, I don't know, I might ask what they think. This already got my, um, yeah, my cream and oats and clays and all that in there. What you see on top is the cream. And it's starting to cool down, so it's starting to thicken up. I'm gonna go ahead the fragrance because this monkey farts does not accelerate nor does it discolor. It is a very, very banana scent. That beauty mess. I broke one of my spatulas today. It's so depressing. Oh well. My oils were just starting to re solidify, is why it got so thick. Because we're definitely doing room temp. Alright, I need frosting. And we need it to be in the camera. This will be our frosting. Maybe too much. Mm -mm. No, that'll be okay. It'll be okay. Alright, now we have frosting. Now the bottom is going to be two swirls. So I'll just use this bowl I just washed. And I want it to be, um... Mostly uh, orange and white is what I'm going to do. Uh oh, Mary's messaging me. Hi, Mary. <laughs> I knew it was getting ready to do that. Da ding. She is trying out a. A new thing um, my husband picked out for her and we mailed today. My husband vapes, so I'm all for uh, transferring everybody over to vaping. He absolutely loves it. Now this is a mixture of neon orange and um peach sunset. Nice, gorgeous color. And then we'll do like maybe in the pot swirl. I don't know. Now 
Now, is that not an in-your-face orange? Oh, lovely. The only reason my soap batter is accelerating a little is because it was so cold. Not the fragrance. This fragrance is from Fragrance Buddy. I tested it and it did not accelerate. Never discolored. I have a recipe that's um, let's see what is the percent um, I'm thinking um, 65% hard oils so that's why I don't master batch all in one big bucket because it will re-solidify so I master batch but I do it in um, a bunch of separate, you know, containers, and then it, um, I just get the one container down and melt it and go on, you know? I wanted, um, the other soap cake I made was, um, a bit of a darker one, you know, with the dark purple and pink. So I wanted this one to be very bright. And I'm probably going to use my spoon and swirl it. I'm just kind of flopping it in there. I have a feeling my um, frosting will take no time to set up. Which is fine because it's two o'clock and I need to get in the shower. One of these days I'll make enough at this that I can stay home full time doing this and I don't have to worry about rushing to get ready for work. One day. Just not right now. Let's get us a spoon. We'll give this a swirly do. Let's give it just a swirl. Intermingle these colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to paint this out on the floor. Alright. So the reason I, um, have this so I can bang it and move it around and yeah all of that good stuff into the oven it goes I gotta move around some stuff I've got all right color our frosting one is yellow And the other is white. Look at that. Oh boy. Okay, it's nice. Okay, 
creamy white. This is going in over here out of the way. Let's give these a hand stir. I'm going to pause you guys and be back as soon as this is ready, which probably won't be five minutes or so. I'm just going to straighten up. Okay, guys. It's been like, I don't know, seven minutes. Not long. And my piping is ready. Good thing I didn't wait too much longer. I'd have been in some trouble. I do other things while I'm waiting, so I don't feel like I'm impatient. And I lose track of time. And one thing you guys probably have noticed when I pipe cakes, never ever do I pipe the very center because I think it looks stupid. <laughs> That's just my opinion. All right, now one, two. Let's see, three, four. All right, I'm gonna leave it. I don't wanna do anything else. I think it looks gorgeous. There. We'll put a little bit of glitter on these. 
And we'll put a little bit of glitter on the cake. I'm recording, ain't I? Oh, yes. Whew. I thought there for a second I forgot to hit the record button. Hello, Betsy. See, I'm trying to make them all look different, but gorgeous all the same. So, in this one, I'm not going to put, it's just going to be just a regular looking cake. No extras. Look at that swirl in the center. Isn't that beautiful? All right, everybody. Thank you for watching, and we'll be coming back for another cutting video, and we have one more day of making cakes. So, stay tuned.